Hi guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today we are going to be keeping it very chill. I'm going to be walking around and giving you guys a little bit of an update on some planty happenings around here. I like to do these every couple of months just to kind of keep you guys in the loop and talk about what's been going on with my plants. It is a very dark and rainy day out today. It's pouring rain right now. So if the lighting is not great, I do apologize for that. Hopefully it's a cozy weather type day where you are at as well and we can just share this cozy dark moment together. Also, if there's ever anything specifically that you wanna see or you want me to give an update on, just leave a comment. Uh, or message me because I do write those things down. Uh, the first thing that I'm actually going to talk about is an update on my self-watering pots and that is because somebody requested for me to give an update on that so let's just start with that. Okay so here is the first plant that I have in a self-watering pot which is my philodendron tortum. As you can see this plant is doing amazing. Um, honestly all of my plants in self-watering pots are doing really well. I still uh, have had a really positive experience with these and can recommend them. So in the video that I made talking about these, I was so shocked at how wet the soil was staying. So I've decided for my plants that I'm using these pots for with soil. I'm letting the soil dry out before I fill up the reservoir. I was not doing that before and it was still honestly working fine. So I don't know, but I just feel like it's safer to let it dry out. I think this one's dry. Yeah, there's no water in there right now. So I am going to fill this one up soon. Ooh, you can see a little root there. Oh, I saw a fungus gnat fly out of there. Fungus gnats could be an issue if you're using soil in these pots, but I don't know, they don't bother me too much. I definitely have a few of them, but I don't know. They don't really hurt my plants or anything, so. It's all good. Uh, and then down here, I have, this thing is just growing like wild still. This is my, oh my gosh, this does not look great. What is that? Looks a little suspicious. I'm having a thrip problem right now. So um, this one could be thrippy. I am going to be treating all of the plants on this shelf today. Actually, some of them have already been treated, but Tonight, I need to treat the rest of them, so this one looks a little bit suspicious. Um, but other than that, it's doing great. It's been growing so much. Look at that little baby leaf right there. It's so cute. Yeah, this thing has definitely been thriving in the self-watering pot. And then at the back here, we have my uh, Skindapsis Pictus Exotica. Okay, the lighting here, the shadows are not ideal. Let me pull it out. Okay, so this was the only plant that wasn't doing anything in the self-watering pot and it was also the only one that's in LECA. LECA just doesn't work great for me sometimes. Um, however, I filled up the pot more like some of you suggested. So the LECA is like partially submerged. Well, maybe not so much anymore, but once it's like full, it's partially submerged and that really seemed to help. So thank you. Um, to the people who were suggesting for me to do that. And as you can see, there is a new growth point there. Yay, finally, it's been months and <laughs> these cuttings had not done anything. As you can see, the roots are looking good. Look at them coming out the bottom there, holy crap. Yeah, so this thing is finally happy, which is awesome. Um, so that is going well. Another thing that I wanted to show you on this shelf is my Alocasia cupria little baby that I grew from a corm. Uh, it has put out another leaf, you guys. Look at that. I'm so excited. This thing is doing really well in sphagnum. Um, I really don't do anything special to it, just keep the sphagnum moist. And yeah, two leaves is usually the point that I'm comfortable potting them up. So uh, once this leaf comes out all the way, I'll probably check on the roots and decide if I'm going to pot it up. But really excited to see it growing. It's just so little and cute. Okay, so I did just want to give you guys an update on my Monstera Albo leaf. This is the newest one that was coming out. And look at how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to move this leaf a little bit out of the way. The variegation on this is perfect. Like in my opinion, this leaf is just absolutely perfect. I'm so happy with it. Um, yeah, I can't stop staring at it. It's so freaking pretty. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. 
I'm already watching and waiting for the next one to be coming out. Oh yeah, okay, I wanted to talk about these succulents quickly. I did show them in my uh, watering video that I posted, but I didn't really talk about them. Um, so if you watched my houseplant tour, you would have seen that these were pretty much dead and somehow they are kind of revived. They're still going. Um, these ones turned back green. This one's still a little gray. This one might not make it, but these two I think could make it. So I'm really happy about that. This as well, the variegated one. Um, I think that it might make it. So I'm just, you know, trying to care for these as best as I can and they're doing really well. I do have a new grow light set up out here, which is working absolutely amazing. So I am gonna be having a video all about that uh, in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it and so are my plants. My Stapelia is putting out another little branch there, which is so stinking cute. Also, while we're here, my philodendron Brazil is really starting to climb this pole now. Look at that, you guys. I'm not even having to add any more tape or anything. It's just like plastered right to the side of it. So cool. That's the leaf at the top of the little vine there. I have some new growth on the top of my Ripsalis paradoxa, which is very exciting. Like I said, my succulents and cactus are just going wild under my new light setup. Look at how long that growth is getting on my monkey tail. Okay, coming down to my moss pole plants here, I wanted to show you guys um, how much my Monstera Standaliana, okay, look at this. So I posted a video putting these on moss poles a couple of weeks ago and look at that big root coming out from under the tape. Like, it's already put out a huge root that's wrapping around the moss, so... And it's nice because plants living in the cabinet, um, the moss stays moist for way longer, so it's pretty low maintenance. Really excited to see that putting out that root though, because I think this plant is going to do so much better once it's rooted in and climbing. New leaf watch over here on my philodendron Florida Beauty. Can't wait to see that. It's almost emerged. I really hope it's variegated because it's been putting out a lot of leaves that are not variegated, which uh, concerns me a little bit, obviously, but yeah, really eager to see it. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about my Syngonium back here. This poor Syngonium, it looks so bad. I'm surprised that nobody commented on it in the last video, but oh my goodness, there's a new growth point there, you guys. I was just gonna say that even though these leaves are goners, I think that it's gonna be okay because it has healthy roots and uh, that growth point just confirms that yes, I think it's gonna be okay. Where is that root? There's some roots right there. Thank goodness, I'm so happy to see that growth point. I really, really, really want Syngonium erythrophyllum to be a plant that thrives for me, so I will keep you guys updated on that growth. It's obviously happy being in here. Also, I do have a couple of my string of hearts hanging uh, in front of my south-facing window. Now, I actually just hung them with command hooks and so far so good um yeah can't say that i recommend that but i know that these pots are super super light so that's why i did it with command hooks and if they fall down then then they fall down i guess okay so in this cabinet we have some fun things happening my philodendron viricosum leaf unfurled uh look at how pretty that is i love this plant so much i can probably almost attach it to the pole there uh has another one coming in there as well and what else monstera tubaya is just doing the most look at that new leaf right at the top this thing has nowhere else to go. I think I'm going to make it a moss plank. I'll probably have that as an upcoming video. 
and my Hoya Sunrise, you guys. It has finally given me some new leaves. Those two at the very end are new, and this is the first growth that it's given me since I got it, so I honestly was a little worried this plant was going to be making its way out completely, so I took a cutting a few weeks ago, but it's growing, so I'm so excited about that. Another Hoya that's growing right now is my Hoya Serpents, and look at those cutie little leaves, you guys. They are so stinking cute. They come in way tinier than that, too. They're just so sweet. I do have a new leaf coming in on my Anthurium Forgettii. Look at how cute that is. Oh, they're so fun to watch come in. So if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, then you would have saw that I was debating um, freeing this because it was stuck and it was like doing that thing where it's so arched that it is at risk of snapping itself off, which has happened before with this plant. Um, so I ended up going in with tweezers and just freeing it and it looks like it's doing really great. It might have like a tiny bit of damage, but honestly, I don't, I don't mind at all. Um, I'm just glad that it didn't snap off. So yeah, really cute. Down here, I'm losing a leaf on my, oh, my phone's ringing. The weather here is so crazy, you guys. Now it's sunny out. The sun will come out for like five minutes and then it will get completely dark and cloudy again. Okay, yeah, so before I got interrupted, this one's just not doing too hot. Not really sure why. Hope that thrips have not made their way in here too. That would just not, not be fun. I am filming how I'm dealing with thrips as well, so you will get a video on that eventually. Um, what else is going on in here? My philodendron gigas really not doing much. Um, since I potted it up, I did forget to water it at one point, which I was so annoyed at myself um, for doing that. <laughs> but it still looks fine. The roots look really good, so. Yeah, it's just getting established into soil there. If you watched my last video, you would have seen this leaf. I honestly, I'm shook at how big this leaf is, you guys. Like, this is so massive. It's so crazy that I once thought that this leaf was massive. Like, I could not believe the size of this one. And now they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Like, oh my goodness, I love this plant so much. I really want the silver one. I have some babies going though, some baby alocasia dragon scale corms. So I'm thinking maybe I will trade somebody who has a silver one um, once those grow. Monstera adansonii is still doing really well here. Um, it did just put out this leaf right here, which is super white. Uh, and then that was the last leaf that it put out. As you can see, a lot of the leaves that were sad from shipping are crisping off, but that's fine. Um, that's honestly to be expected. As long as the new leaves are healthy, I'm happy, and they are. So, yeah, so far, so good. I also have a new growth point on my philodendron El Chaco Red. Uh, so I'm really excited for this to get a new leaf because of how big the last one was that came out. I am a little sad though that this plant is getting bigger because I hear that they lose their red backs when they're more mature, which kind of sucks because the red, like the dark backs are so pretty. So I guess the backs just turned to green. I don't know. Let me know if you have a larger one, um, if it lost its red back. I showed my Syngonium Albo um, at the end of my last video as well. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, how may I help you? How may I help you? I think that she thinks it's her S-U-P-P-R time um, because it was daylight savings. So it's technically like an hour ahead to her. It's not time yet, Boga. Okay, back to my Syngonium Albo. Uh, yeah, it was featured in my last video and it's doing really well. I potted some cuttings into it, so those are right here and they look like they are doing fine. I also have new growth coming in right there. This thing just grows like a weed. Um, it's very easy going. I was a little nervous taking it out of the cabinet. I took it out of the cabinet and just, I didn't even really transition it. I just kind of plopped it um into my living room but it's been doing completely fine i haven't lost any leaves or had any damages or anything like that so yeah really impressed because the humidity kind of hangs around 50 percent in here which isn't really bad honestly 
Something else that I have down here is this um, base part of my Syngonium erythrophyllum. I completely chopped this plant up in a uh, plant chores vlog video. Um, and I wasn't really sure what to do with this, so I honestly just set it here, and it's just been sitting. And I looked at it, and it has two growth points. So it has one there, and then it also has one down there. It might have more than two, honestly. Um, so I guess if my other one doesn't make it, then maybe I will be able to get a plant out of this one. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was so crazy. It's just, you know, I've just been kind of ignoring it, and it's just out here growing. All right. Also, I should have mentioned while I was in the cabinet, my Calathea Warshawixii is just so unhappy. Like, I don't know what it wants from me and it makes me so sad because all I want is that plant to do well. And it's just, it's just constantly struggling. Um, as you can see, I moved it inside the cabinet and it still looks exactly the same. It's been in there for a couple of weeks, but yeah, I'm thinking that I might take it out a pond. Um, I just haven't done it yet, but yeah, still not doing well. Begonias, not doing great, guys. Not doing great. Uh, yeah. My Linda Dawn. Eh, it has put out some new leaves, but I just feel like, I don't know, maybe in the spring it'll come back, but this one has been really unhappy as well. My Brazilian lady, it dropped all these leaves, except for that one on the end, I guess, but it just has that empty stem now. Um, I feel like it might be temperature related, like it's pretty cold on this windowsill. I just don't really have anywhere else that I can move them to. Um, and yeah, they don't get a lot of light there either. It's not a great spot, to be honest. It's really not a great spot. I think during the summer it'll be fine, but during the winter, um, like it's only 18.8 degrees right now um, in this area. The ones over here are actually not doing bad though, so that's good. Love that steak horn fern. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it there. I hope that you enjoyed seeing a few of these updates. I also have a lot going on in my prop boxes right now. A lot going on as in I have a lot of plants that are ready to be potted up. So I'm probably gonna be posting a prop box update and potting some of those up with you guys. If you have any ideas of videos that you would like to see from me, leave me a comment down below. I would love to read those ideas or leave me a comment about anything at all because I love to hear from you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.